Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and Administrator of Dooley and Tooley PNGs. I'm just about to start a new document in Affinity Designer. I'm just going to create a four, uh, portrait one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make these styles, uh, a way of doing it. First of all, before you do anything else, you need to make a new style category. The come up as unnamed and you can click on it and click uh, right click rename category if you want to and put a uh, particular type that you want like multi color or something like that right right so that'll do anyway I think I've got it wrong and can't tell where yeah multicolor all right so I've got a multicolor one there for you. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a, a rectangle in or square shape, as big as I can get it in, right? In fact, I'll pull that across that way a little bit, so it's all the way across there, and go all the way up there. I'll do, I'll do it full page if I can. Shouldn't you don't need to do it full page, but I'm gonna. Right now I'm going to add background color first. Start off with that, and then I'm just going to get paint tool and get it the width quite large width. So I can do some squiggly lines on it if I can, and then I'm just going to paint some squiggly lines on where I can. Right, there's one. Do another one down here. Yeah. Like that. Then I'm going to do something red. Like that. Another one down here in red. And then another one here in red as well. Now what I might do is I might just move them about a bit so, so they're a bit more closer to that side. Like that, move up there a bit, like that, move up there a bit, like that. Right, move that one close to that one, like that, right. That gives them a bit of space and I'll move this one down a bit, move this one down a bit more. They look more or less similar anyway, not the same, but similar. In distance part. Right now, I'm just going to use um, select all and edit group, uh, group them, sorry, I'll group them with this group button. Now, what I want to do is just do that and just cut that in to the edge of there. And on this side to the same. I can it'll, if it'll let me. Go back on there. Right now do. I'll cut that in like that. And I'll cut this side in a bit. Like that. That'll do. That's close enough. And take this up a little bit. That down a little bit. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shapes, different colours like blue, copy, paste, and move it over there. Um, star can do one. Files. Oops, a diamond there. I'll start instead. First star in red. Copy, paste. Do it over here. One minute, it's got to keep changing the tool. That's the trouble. 
and let's think of something else. Let's do a cogwheel in the middle and do that one in green, I suppose. Yeah, and then copy it down there, paste. I always wanted to use the right tool for moving. There we go. Right now, that's the design. Right, so we've got the design, all we need to do is select all, file, export as a PNG or JPEG, and try selection without background because you don't want the white background, right? And right. design one, right? So I put that on my desktop as design one. Now I'm going to delete that. And to make the actual style, I'm going to use um, an ellipse. You could use an ellipse or you could use um, a star if you want to, to do the ellipse. I'll, I'll do the ellipse with this one. Right, so um, you can use this fill tool here. Let's put it on there like that. Then you've got the context menu here and the type linear there and you go to the little triangle that goes down there and click on bitmap and it'll take you to wherever you uh, your main open uh, for all doc to look for documents is right your document window and then you can put it on like that so I'm gonna put that design on swing it round you can well, do all sorts of things with it I'm gonna put that back in the middle and then swing that around like that Right now you can bring it up like that to the size you want it and bring it across a bit like that and just bring it out a little bit that's a kind of design like a foot like a, a beach ball design isn't it you could do something like that right then you do right click create style and the style comes up there right now you can also with this because it's a, such a design like that you can do that and then have another style like that and then create style again and bring it down a bit more so there's lots of them and then create style like that right so that's three different styles there you made from that one design right now let me show you what you can do with it right, so let's just edit and delete that right now we've got the styles up you can use any shape you got let's try the heart tool put that on there and that's what's come up because it's on that one now if it changes to that one it'll go into that one or that one it's a single one so you, you're making it into different shapes right as well as that you can use um text oops wait a minute sorry that was my mistake i need to go off that and go on to that click on this and i want to put some word in it so I'll put hello. Oops, I didn't work out right. Right, now you can use that and do that. And it'll change to different ways according to how it sees your style. But it looks pretty good, isn't it? You can get some real, real weird kind of um, designs. You can also add effects to what you got. Also, if you want to make it 3D, so it makes it look a bit different. Or you can give it an inner glow or something like that. Or outer shadow as well. Might be offset there, look. And there you go. That sort of thing. So you can, you can change it as you go as well. And you can also add these effects to your style before you make the style as well so that way the style will have it so you can do it either way and you can have a gaussian blur if you want to so let's try that let's try what that does see what that does see how that works see the blur on there yeah you can see see the difference yeah right that's the difference with the gaussian blur because okay, so if you take the gaussian blur off it looks pretty trim and that so but that looks pretty good doesn't it so 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music if you do. Uh, now you know how to do styles. I hope you do plenty for everybody and happy creating.